Isn't this adorable? And look, you can eat up under the tent and stuff. Not on you though, it's not gonna be on huh? you. It's not gonna be on you. What do you mean? It's not a video for you. On yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never. What it do, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, family. Welcome back to another Self Love Tuesday. I'm getting ready to go get on a treadmill. I have on my sports bra and my black, um, my black shorts that I got from Five Below. Where did I get this sports bra from? Oh, Amazon. I got my sports bra from Amazon. I already did like my skincare routine. I did my, I washed my face and put my toner and stuff on and cleaned my ears and stuff out this morning. So it's time for me to jump on a treadmill. I also want to make a breakfast this morning because I've been trying to make breakfast every morning and my smoothie every morning because I told y'all I'm trying to gain muscle and put on a few more pounds of muscle so I'm making sure I stick to my protein smoothie every morning and also my breakfast and also I got another protein milk I got another soy milk or whatever it got more protein in it and 10 more calories than my um soy milk I was using that blue carton is red now I'll show y'all when I come back up and stuff like that but yeah so I'm sticking to my breakfast sticking to my smoothie Oh, I need to wash my hair because it is <laughs> dirty. The roots is dirty. And that oil that I bought last week, that OGX brand, that light mist oil spray, the coconut oil, it does wonders. Like, it is so wonderful. Like, you don't even have to spray it at your root. I literally spray it, like, in the middle and at the ends, and it will just hydrate and, like, nourish your whole hair if you just do it every day. And it seemed like it started getting better every day. And it said that when I read the bottle, I was like, oh. It's true. So every day it seemed like it made my hair look like even more healthier and healthier. So if you want to go get that brand at OGX, it's like light mist, like coconut oil, like a light hydrating mist. Go get it if you have sister locks or if you have just whatever, you know, whatever you have in your hair. It's a good mist. It's light. It's very light. And um, oh, I want to go check out this tea shop. It's like a tea, coffee, sweet shop or whatever. It's in Dearborn and it's so cute. When I say cute, I mean so cute. So I want to check it out. I don't know if I want to do like a tea or a coffee. I don't know. I'll see how I feel when it, you know when I get there. How to how my vibe is when I get there. But anyway, let's go get on this treadmill because that's what I do on my self love Tuesdays. Hop on that treadmill first thing in the morning. Okay, y'all. We down on the treadmill. I normally start off at like 2.5 speed just to kind of warm me up when I first get on there instead of just getting on going super fast. It's like that's not how you do. <laughs> you warm yourself up and keep moving the speed levels up and up and up. So I do a few minutes of 2.5 and then I move to 4 and then I jog on like um, you know jog on 4 like a light jog and then I do up to 6, 7, 8 depending on you know how I'm feeling do like little sprints or whatever like minute long sprints. But yeah, I'm not gonna hold y'all for too long today. It's gonna be boom, boom, boom because it's cold outside. I just kinda just wanna do what I need to do. I wanna go visit that tea shop and I just wanna get back home and just cuddle up in front of the fireplace today. Like I just like, that's just how I'm feeling because you know, it's just, it's the weather. We went from 60, 60 something to now 40 so it's just back cold and I'm just like not feeling it but yeah all right let me do my little 30 minute treadmill and I'll get back with y'all in a few yeah so I did 1.7 miles today I walked fast I jogged and I did a one minute sprint I'm tired I'm MF and tired <laughs> Like, I was working, but not that much. I ain't gonna cap, but it was working a little bit. <laughs> but um, I'm getting ready to make me a breakfast because I am starving. And my knee, the side of my knee, y'all, it been hurting like since yesterday when I did my workout. And when I was laying down, something was like, you know what, don't just, don't get on the treadmill. Your, your knee already hurt. But that was like the, that was the bad side of me which is the left side. <laughs> the left side was like, don't work out, your knee hurt a little bit. The right side was like, girl, but that knee don't hurt that much for you not to be able to walk. You walked everywhere else all day, yesterday. 
So I went on ahead and got on the treadmill because it's like I would have convinced myself not to just because the side of my knee was hurt. And it's not hurting like that bad not to be walking on the treadmill. You know what I'm saying? But something was trying to tell me don't do it. But girl did it and it's fine. And nothing wrong. Actually, it seemed like it made it better because when I used to bend it up like this. Let me show y'all. When I was bending it up like this, I would feel it like hurting a little bit. Nah, it don't hurt as bad now that I got on the treadmill. So it's like, you just need to walk or stretch or something to get it out. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm bending it and it feel better. So if I went down the treadmill, it probably would have still been in that little pain that it was in. So that is just to tell you, sometimes when you feel a little something, don't be trying to not do it because that's the bad side, trust me. Stretch, get it out, <laughs> walk, do your thing. But now if it's just hurting to a point where it's, you know something wrong, wrong, that's different. But yeah. avocado and egg and a little light tasting olive oil and some crushed red peppers on top and the bread is Sara Lee honey wheat all done look at this don't look good I know it's gonna be good though because I seasoned it good with everything bagel seasoning plus I put just a little salt in it also for the eggs but yeah all done uh -oh. of course I need to taste it for y'all I need to let y'all know what is hitting on if it's hitting on what is hitting on <laughs> Mm. Yes. I already knew though. Mm. Oh, I gotta sit down and eat. <laughs> All right, so we loading the dishes up. Y'all know I got dishes from last night, but I've been doing good lately a little bit doing the dishes at night, but majority of the time it's in the morning. <laughs> but I'll get back with y'all when I get done loading these dishes and a dishwasher because I want to show y'all my new milk that I use for my protein smoothie. So I see y'all in the next clip with that. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, y'all, let me get the meat out, of, um, out the freezer for Taco Tuesday later on. Because last week, y'all, I forgot to take the meat out. I went to the store and got all the stuff. We had everything for it. And I didn't take the meat out the freezer. To go to Taco Bell and buy us some food because that was my bad. Like I literally didn't take out the meat. Crazy, right? So we got all the stuff last week that we bought for Taco Tuesday, and yeah, I'm like, it was just on my mind about eating later. I'm like, oh, hold on, wait, let me take out the dang on meat. Oh, let me show y'all what Raymond bought home yesterday. Oh, a little bit. Okay, so this is like, is it too bright? So this is what he bought home. It is a cake dome, but it can be used for like, it can be used like five different ways. So this could be like a charcuterie board with the sauce in the middle, with the cheese and crackers and fruits and stuff like that. And you can cover it up or you flip it around and it could be a cake tray like that. Or it could be punch. You can make punch in here by, um, hold on, wait, how was it? Oh, like this. Putting this in the middle, like this, and it could be a punch bowl. And then I even done with the kitchen, I done did the dishes. I cleaned off the table and stuff over there and the counters and everything. So let's get ready to make this smoothie. Now, this is the old one right here. If y'all can see the silk, 
the soy silk blue one this is the one i use now because like i say it has eight grams of protein if you can see that and it also have 110 calories in there and it's the powerhouse it's the original nutrition powerhouse so this is even better for um bulking up those muscles and this is um free from dairy gluten carrageen cholesterol artificial colors and flavors so it is a soy milk it's the silk brand and it's original they do have like a vanilla flavor but i just use um honey in there to give me like a little sweet and also for the few extra calories because y'all know honey is got some calories up in it so i use the clover honey i just grabbed this yesterday because i was out i was out of peanut butter and i was out of honey so i got all my products i'm gonna put them all out so y'all can remind y'all how i do my smoothie and i also add oats in them now which i was doing this in the beginning if you used to watch me when i first start bulking and being on this workout journey i was putting um oats in my smoothie so i'm back to doing that I do a half a cup of oats oh and a banana i'm like there's something missing so i i also freeze my bananas and i use a whole banana but i just break them in half and put them in the freezer so i can put them in ziploc bags so let me show y'all all my products i use Because if you do it this way with frozen banana, you don't need ice. Now, if you if you don't have frozen bananas and you forgot to put them in the freezer or you just have your bananas sitting out, then you need to add ice because it's going to be hot and it's disgusting. So <laughs> don't do it. Trust me. So freeze your bananas and use a whole banana. Like, you know, I break them in half, like as y'all can see, but I put a whole one in there. I put one cup of this. I just pour this to my liking just add some honey for taste and two tablespoons of peanut butter and a half a cup of oats and that will help you if you're trying to like bulk if you're on your exercise journey and you need like proteins and stuff because no matter what you need proteins to help build muscle when you're working out. hold on i'm recording all right so i'm all dressed i'm about to spray on my perfume the ambery cherry by dossier so yeah so i got my water to go also my lemon and cucumber water remember i told y'all about this i drink this twice a day i'm steady drinking it i threw on a hat because i have to wash my hair and i thought about it like i don't want to wash my hair before i go because it's cold outside and i don't want to get sick you know what i'm saying so sweater I that i got for christmas this is my first time wearing it it's so comfy and cute i kind of like tucked it in my leggings at the front because they kind of they because they're high-waisted leggings so it give you that you know high low look and my, some black leggings and i got on my pink jordan ones to match my pink sweater and all right so i got my lemon and cucumber water let's roll out to start raining like really really soon i get in the car come outside is it's raining i got an umbrella in my trunk though but man are you see now y'all see what i was talking about i'm telling you about I'm gonna turn the brightness down. 
not want to be out here that long today because <laughs> Michigan be acting up, y'all. It be acting up. Anyway, let's roll to this tea coffee shop. This cute little shop I want to show y'all around. This will be my first time, so let's go. This is the spot over here to my left. When I make the left, it's right over there. If you see that pink sign right there. Matter of fact, let me show you from this side. They start with a G right there. G-A-T-E-A-U-X. I'm going there, so hopefully let me check out. I've seen a sign in the window. I don't know what that meant. I, don't, I hope it's open. It just... Something is telling me not because I seen a sign in the door. Oh boy. We're about to go find out though. Oh, I really wanted to try it. Look like they under like reconstruction or something. Oh, I'm like, what kind of park is this? Okay, so. Do I need my umbrella? Oh, the rain is gonna come down. I think I'm gonna grab my umbrella. My camera don't supposed to be getting wet, so. Umbrella match too, y'all. My umbrella is Vera Bradley. And it's me. Y'all, I'm about to be. Crazy. Hello. I had to cover my camera up because it's coming down a little too much and it's too dark. Hold on, wait. What's going on? Hmm. I think because it's just gloomy. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna say, I think because it's just gloomy out here, but look, let me show y'all. Look at the cute little uh, pink trees and stuff that's outside. Isn't this adorable? And look, you can eat up under the tent and stuff. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, it's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. Oh, I guess they open. Please leave. Oh, no, that was another sign. I was about to say. <laughs> Put my umbrella down. Oh, I see my camera got water on it. Say carrot cake the first time, but yeah, it's carrot cake, and uh, I'll have to dig in and see how it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
was so good y'all I didn't even eat all my um carrot cake I wanted to take it home like I wanted to savor it it is so when I say so good don't don't get me wrong I mean so good like it's delicious like look how much I ate I only ate a little bit I could have ate more but I'm like if I put all this in me right now Oh my goodness. And I drank my latte. So I'm like, if I put it all this in me right now, I don't. I'm not gonna have none for later. And I'm gonna have to come back and get some more. So the discipline kicked in. Like, Ida, get you a few tastes. Like, dang, I wish I would have bought a fork out right now. I just wanna dig in this thing. But that's why I didn't bring a fork. You know, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I get home and keep eating a little bit off of here. Cause baby. <laughs> And I went and got me some more napkins. I'm like, let me put some pink napkins in my car so I can just have some pink napkins in my car. Just because they pink. So, yeah. That's the tea on that shop. The service, A1. The sweets, A1. The latte, I had a French vanilla latte, A1. I'm telling you, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The vibe, the music, the scenery. It was a vibe. Oh my, oh my God. I love this place. Oh my God. <laughs> it's time to go get these toes done. Y'all know it's time for my white. I do black in the fall. Like six months and six months. I do black fall, winter, and white spring and summer. And y'all know spring hit a few days ago. So it's time for my white. I had to stop back at my house because I forgot my money in there. And yeah, I'll be back out because I got to go get my toes done. But I don't know. I like to pay with cash. And then plus if you tip, that way it's cash and not do cards and all that stuff so yeah let me go get my cash real quick we outside we outside i don't know people be saying that on instagram we outside <laughs> anyways i'm on my way into the nail shop with uh oh what you do vlog on youtube huh youtube vlog. yeah for pedicure mm -hmm. no 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 and you huh now and you. No me. Oh, Not you. I, I want to make a pretty kid. Look at me. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Not on you. Huh? It's on me. On you? Oh. Yeah, I, I don't film other people on mine. Unless you want it to. Huh? No. <laughs> you said four what? I know. You said four what? I said, you never you watch YouTube? No, I've got two foot, but uh, what about it? What is the norm? Huh? What is the norm? I can hear you. Why they turn on? Why why they they turn this way? You huh? make a camera. You say why is it? No, why they turn on and they make this way? Oh, this way? Huh? On my feet? Uh huh. Yeah, when it when it's time. Huh? When it's time, when my feet in there. Why? You do the camera? Yeah. For what? That's what I just told you for YouTube. Oh. <laughs> not on you though. It's not gonna be on huh? you. It's not gonna be on you. What do you mean? It's not a video for you. 
Nó vết quy trong quan này Hai trong quan này Đương chút Hả? Hai trong quan này Đương chút on the credit key Isn't that gonna be on you? Okay Hả? Okay Yeah, so I just left out of there, y'all And I won't be back there Because I always go there, right? And I've been filming for the longest He act like I'm about to sit there and film him doing my toes the whole time i told him i filmed for youtube what am i gonna do or get out of filming you you're not gonna like i'm not gonna film you you get what i'm saying so it's like all right you irritating i'm up out of here but anyways oh, excuse me i'm gonna go to another nail shop because I'm not about to deal with somebody just doing that because of their own reasons because it's not like I went in there like from the first time and they always said no camera or something like that or the owner told me no camera or something like that. The other lady was wanting to do it. After I turned off the camera, she was like, I'll do it. Don't, you know, I'll do it. I was like, nope, don't worry about me ever coming back here again because I'm sitting up here telling this guy, I am not about to film you. I can't get nothing out of filming you. This is for me. If the camera is on my feet, how is it going to affect you? You get what I'm saying? It's like, I understand somebody saying no camera. Yeah, but if the camera is not on you, what am I going, like, what is, how is it harming you or doing anything to you? It's like, because he white they finally white i'm so excited i got my white back y'all because y'all know i haven't had my white in like forever but um what i really want to talk about is self-love a little bit just i want to talk about self-love the difference between self-love and self-care now self-care basically a be how can i sum it up you having the thought on you want to start self-caring more far as we gonna say self-care products so the thought may come to your head you know like i want to start you know self-care and putting on certain products and giving me some good skin care and taking care of myself and stuff like that self-love is the next level of self-care self-love is you already passed that stage of wanting to start caring for yourself more. You know what I mean? Self-love is you love yourself now. So basically, it's a lifestyle. So that's so basically that's the difference. Self-care is you wanting to start something, to start taking care of yourself. And self-love is you're past the stage of wanting to take care of yourself. You already do that to to a point where it's a habit, it's a ritual, it's a lifestyle. So when you're in the self-love stage, you're not going to backpedal for nothing and nobody far as it can be far as boundaries and standards that you have once you love yourself nobody can make you unlove yourself that's the difference between self-care and self-love um you're going to put you first always is going to be you first and not even like if you have kids and stuff like that that's different but i mean by like still putting you first like taking care of yourself no matter what so even if you have kids and they take a lot of your time and stuff like that. You're still going to make sure you do certain stuff to take care of yourself, make you feel good. You're good. You know what I'm saying? So that's what self-love is. And that's why I'm at the stage of self-love because I've been past, been past the stage of self-care a long, long time ago. And I would say I was at the stage of self-love, but not to the extent of self-love that I have and that I'm doing now. I just... I had self-love when it came down to boundaries. Yes, I always had self-love there. But still, it wasn't all the way there because I would let some things happen. 
you know what I'm saying? Or knowing I shouldn't be doing something with somebody and still let it happen and then cut them off. Now, see, self-love, when you truly, really get to the stage of self-love for real, that won't even happen. That will not happen. You will already know what you need to know, see what you need to see, and you're going to cut it off to protect your peace by any means necessary. That's what self-love is. So basically, like earlier, how I went and he said, oh, well, I don't want you filming. And if I feel some type of way about it, like, I don't want him doing my toes now because I'm protecting my peace. Because if he just irritated me or bothered me or wanted me to do what he wanted me to do and I, and I wanted to do something differently, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up and go. Now, if I didn't have the level of self-love that I have now, I would have let him do my toes and still been kind of mad and irritated knowing that I didn't like that and let him do my toes. No, I'm going to protect my peace by getting up and moving out your way. But anyway, that's just the one situation. But I'm saying it's just further past that. So I just wanted to let y'all know what self-care and self-love is. So basically, compare your situations from examples that I'm saying. So basically you don't let stuff slide when you love yourself you don't let stuff slide because you know once it slide they start skating on you it's just what it is and you have to love yourself to teach someone else how to love you when you love yourself <laughs> baby they gonna automatically love you because i just walked in the door raymond like i bought you something i'm like what oh yeah i gotta show y'all so i'm like what so he's like come to the room let me show you so anyway hold up let me get it let me show y'all So, <laughs> y'all know I love candles. Raymond know I love candles. So, that's what he did. He bought me candles. And he bought me three candles. So, this one smells really good, too. It's Coconut Sands. It's, it's bomb, too, y'all. Oh, it smells good. So, he bought me that one. And he bought me this one called um, Sheer Jasmine. Smells really good. And I love the aesthetic of the candle itself. Like this outside of it is so cute and it smells <sighs> he bought me this one this one smells so good this is soft cashmere and amber all my smells that i love so this one was yeah coconut sands sheer jasmine and this one is soft cashmere and amber it smells so good so all the smells i love and also i left my lock at the gym and I text him the other day, like, I left my lock at the gym and they say they don't see it. Guess what? Bought me two locks. So that's the point I'm trying to get to on self-love. When you self-love, you love yourself so much to where other people notice. Basically, they follow suit to love you or try to love you more than you even love yourself you know what i'm saying so these are the these are the thoughts that count because he know i love candles so that's what i mean by when people when you love yourself and you like certain stuff it's just a candle but it's bigger than a candle it's just a lock but it's bigger than a lock so yeah basically love yourself start somewhere start at self-care work your way up to self-love and keep building and it's going to get more and more and more and more and more and your energy is going to transfer and you're going to give off good energy to others and others is going to see how much you love yourself and they're going to respect your boundaries or they got to get out the way it <laughs> is one or the other but yeah you know i just want to kind of chip you know chit chat with y'all a bit i see that i've been talking probably for longer than what i said uh i'm gonna close out this video and uh I still gotta wash my hair tonight and I gotta make some tacos because y'all know it's Taco Tuesday. And uh, but I'm about to close out this video though, and um, I'll see y'all in the next video for Sunday. Uh, I got some wedding things, I got some wedding things to talk about, so make sure y'all smash that like button and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't clicked the post notification bell, that way you will be notified of every single vlog. I said, I say vlog or vlog, vlog, <laughs> but for now. Your girl is out. Peace.